Hi everyone, this is Vipasha Bhumik and I am here to elaborate on my article titled From the Cradle on Television, The American Myth. The American dream has truly spread far and wide in the East and in the West and has enticed hearts alike. A garden of Eden that can be reclaimed only through sheer will of human will and perseverance. It's truly a force of nature to be reckoned with. But is the American dream all that it has been uh, showcased as? Or is there a gilded cage that lies behind the notion of the American dream? This is the idea that has been tried to and explored in David Fincher's movie, The Fight Club. Fight Club remains one of the most contentious and talked about movies, both in, among movie buffs and in critical circles since its release in the 1990s. While it did have a lukewarm reception at the box office during its release, it now enjoys a cult status among moviegoers. The Fight Club encompasses the life of an unnamed narrator who resembles or who poignantly portrays the everyman of the 1990s, of the Generation X who is tired of his 9 to 5 white collar job, who is completely disillusioned by the ideals of the hustle and wants to break free of his IKEA furniture, of his cushioned duvets, and his Calvin clients. The narrator is riddled with chronic insomnia and tries to seek reprieve by visiting various rehabilitation centers, posed dubiously as a survivor of various chronic illnesses. This momentary reprise is ultimately stolen away from him when he encounters Marla Singer, another woman trying to combat her personal demons in the same way that the narrator is. The narrator then comes across Tyler Durden, a rivetingly powerful, sexy man who is trying to gain control of his life, who presents the antithesis to the everyday lives of the, of the unnamed narrator. He has sought to draw wreak havoc on the various credit card business institutions and is, and is completely sought to break the ideals of consumerism, to break the gilded cage. In a surprising turn of events, he and the narrator engage in a fist fight, which is watched on and later emulated by many to form a highly secretive society called the Fight Club. But what happens at the end of the Fight Club? Is it truly a very profitable venture to take out your personal demons in fist fights, in unregulated sheer human violence? Or does the ideal collapse in on itself like a house of cards? Consumerism is the battle that has to be won with in the movie. But the ultimate quench in the, in the narrative comes that the Tyler Durden is not really a human person. He is a hallucination that the narrator conjures when he is in his insomniac state. The movie is flawed. The movie's ending is not quite the resolute one that many moviegoers would hope for. In fact, the movie is coloured in various uh, anti-feminist and in various patriarchal virtues that have been encumbered quite uh, unreasonably by various uh, meninist organisations and white male rights organisations who portray the fight club as an ideal. Although the movie does remain fraught with multiple questions, it is arguably one of the best performances of the silver screen and it is worth exploring because of the unique take it offers on the ideas of bursting the American dream. Thank you.